Welcome to another lesson by TechVision.com. Dr. Robertson here, and today I'm going to show you how to download SimBraille or a Braille font for your computer if you do not have it. And then I will show you the advantages of being able to um, Braille on your brow display and see Braille come up as well as type on your keyboard and have Braille come up. And this is perfect for your low vision students who uh, do have a progressive condition uh, and will need to learn how to do Braille. So I am on Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired um, site and it is .tsbvi.edu slash download dash braille dash and dash asi dash specialty dash fonts or you can just type in tsbvi.edu and hit enter. Hit E for a search box and type in SimBraille and you'll come up to your next page uh, that says download fonts. Just bring up your links and hit D and you will hear download Braille and specialty fonts and you will get to that page also. Or go ahead and go to the edit box down below with a description and I have the URL pasted in there for you. Here I am with the download Braille and ASL specialty fonts and I'm pulling up my links, insert F7. And I'm gonna hit S for Sim Braille. That's what I want. Simbraille.xexe, that's executable file, uh, 40K, and go ahead and hit enter on that. There also is Braille uh, font. Uh, all of them will do what you need to do. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use Simbraille. And tab to save file and spacebar. Yep. Now I'm going to go to my file explorer and it is zipped so we need to unzip it and you can choose to have the default unzipped which I will show you how to do also because most people are going to select that but I can also show you how to change it to another item. So Windows E I'm going to hit D for downloads and enter. Okay. I'm going to maximize my window. Windows up arrow. I highly suggesting always maximizing your windows because screen readers like a full page. So just get in the habit of putting your left finger on your windows key and right finger on your up arrow and maximizing all your windows. And a down arrow. Okay. And uh, I've downloaded it a couple of times because I wanted to show the best path for doing this. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on that. And I will talk instead of let him talking through the whole thing. He's going to tell me that I'm in my app data local temp file folder. Uh, and uh, that it needs to be emptied every day. So if you've emptied it uh, and you meant to go get that, let me show you how to easily go get it and find it. So you can keep it as the default, that's fine. Uh, and we're just gonna hit enter on that and unzip it. Unzip it. Beautiful. And we're gonna go ahead and escape out of that. Now Windows R and type in percent temp percent. Remember, percent sign is uh, shift five and hit enter. I'm gonna hush him up. My temp folder immediately opens up. It's easiest to just alt D and tab one time to search instead of exploring through all the massive amount of folders and files you probably have in there. I'm gonna alt D and tab. I'm just gonna type in sim. Be very careful uh, anytime you're doing searching how much you type in. So just type in sim and I'm gonna hit enter. And it immediately populates because you're gonna be tempted to type in Sim Braille. You're not gonna find it because Sim Braille is S-I-M-B-R-L. That's the reason why you always wanna type less, less is more. Tab around to my list view. Okay, space bar to select it. Enter to open it. At this time, just do Alt-I to install it. Yes. No, I don't. I, of course, have it because I use it with my students. 
So do I want to replace it? No, but you're not going to get this if you do not have Simbrel on your computer already. So I'm just going to hit space bar no. Okay, and it's going to roll back. Okay, and I'm going to Alt F4 and close out. Now let me show you the, okay, Alt F4 and you'll notice it did not close my file explorer. Uh, when that happens, just do Alt space and C to close and X and up arrow. Alt space and up arrow to close. Okay, that's a nice little trick there and Alt F4. Okay, and Alt F4 again and close. Okay, now I'm going to show you the, the advantage of SimBraille uh, and, and a child learning Braille having a Braille display connected. So Windows 4 is my hotkey to open Word. I'm going to hit Escape. I have set up my computer to automatically populate and be maximized all the time. If you have a navigation pane open and if you're not sure, hit F6 and find out because once again, you want to put this at 100%. I do. So I'm going to control space, C to close it. Okay. Low vision, get this into a view that the child is not putting uh, his or her nose on your screen. So Alt VZ. Okay. I'm going to do Alt E. Typically, if they're low vision, at least 300, 350%. So let's go ahead and do 350 and hit enter. Okay. And of course, just hit your letters. Okay. That's probably pretty decent, but you can still change it even more. We're going to control D because we're going to set the default as Simbraille while they're learning Braille. So control D. Times your Roman, I'm going to type in S I M down arrow. Simbraille is right there. I'm going to tab to my size, probably about 30. Uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, and of course, the way you know, we teach remotely, so if I hear that voice get really, really close to the microphone, I know it's not large enough. So you're just going to need to do some experimenting with that. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 30, and I'm going to hit enter. Now if I want to set this as the default, I can do Alt D, and if they're in Braille mode, I do want to set this as the default. So every single time they open Word and they have their Braille display there, they can go ahead and practice their Braille. Because visual kids, no matter how low their vision is, they want to see. So let them see the braille dots. And then they're going to connect it to what their fingers are doing. And they will. Alt D is going to set default. And then it's going to ask me if I want to do it just for this template or for all. And I'll just do Alt A for all templates. Alt D. Okay, and I'm going to do Alt A. I have my JAWS restricted because it's in a more advanced mode. Alt A for all documents. And enter. Okay. Now, when uh, they actually braille a letter, they will actually get the actual braille. And how cool is that? So if I want to do Apple, and the child will be able to visually see it. Uh, now, find out also, is this a high contrast child? Do they like black dots on white? Or do they need black uh, on the black surround and then white in the front? So once again, ask the child what they like to see easiest. If they do want a black background, hit your star key and type in high contrast. Okay, and enter. Let me move it into view. Okay, and as all you have to do is just hit your space bar. What's nice about this is the left alt and the left shift combined with print screen will toggle this on and off. And I'll show you that in a second. So space bar, and it instantly turns to black background. White causes huge glare. So once again, check this out for your low vision child that's learning Braille. I'm going to Alt tab back and I'm going to use the hot key. Okay. If the child says, oh, they see this so much better, great. There's going to be some items where they may want it switched back. So once again, the left Alt and the left Shift and print screen is going to quickly change it. And it's back. Okay. 
So that is how you can quickly change back and forth. And this is something you're going to want to check out with your low vision child that is learning Braille. If they're not learning Braille and they're just a low vision, uh, a regular low vision like 2060, 2070, and they do not have a progressive condition, uh, this is gonna be something that you wanna check out anyway because a lot of students, children, are photophobic. That means light sensitive and they do not wanna look at that glaring white screen. So that is how you can get Sim Braille downloaded, combine that with a Braille display, and the child can be writing it and then actually seeing, seeing it in read mode, which is vertical, and writing, of course, is in horizontal mode. Okay, uh, go out, and that gives you another way to teach Braille to young students. Talk to you later. If you like this channel, subscribe to the channel and you'll get more videos to help you keep learning.